everybody, it's Stephanie Fit here. I've been getting a lot of questions about my evening routine, how I prepare for the next day coming, um, how I pack my lunch, how I pack my water, and so forth. So I'm just going to share with you, I've got dinner in the oven, and usually this is the time of day when I prepare for the next day. I've just finished preparing dinner. In fact, I'm going to toss my apron off to the side, and um, I'll show you what I do to get everything ready for tomorrow. And um, that way, when I wake up in the morning, I just grab and go, grab a couple things out of the fridge that I've kept overnight there, but I don't have to stress about fixing anything healthy, and then I won't forget my healthy food or end up binging on something because I'm starving because I didn't prepare. So anyway, um, I first and foremost, I fill up my water for the next day. I wanna make sure that I'm hydrated. I am not going to drink water from the drinking fountains at work. The water fountains, that, that just it doesn't appeal to me, especially with COVID. I know in my school, things are shut down um, like that, that, the public use areas. So I pre-pack my water and I've measured, and I know that three water bottles, these three, um, are the water that uh, is recommended for me to drink each day. So I know when I finished all three that I've had my basic recommended hydration for the day. Um, basically what the experts recommend right now is um, half your body weight in ounces of water every day. I have a whole YouTube video about this. You can search through and find my water one. And I talk about water bottles, but I'm just reviewing here briefly. So if you weigh 200 pounds, you want to drink 100 ounces of water every day. If you drink, if you weigh 100 pounds, you drink 50 ounces. So half your body weight in ounces of water. I like to add trace mineral drops. I'm not an affiliate. This is just a brand that I love and I use. And I add about 20 drops to each bottle. Fill these with water and then pack them away. So they're ready to go for tomorrow. I can grab and go and then I know as I pace myself throughout the day I see oh I've only drank one bottle I need two more before the end of the day and it helps keep me on track so I get my water done first oh and if I know I'm gonna be outside it's a hot day I'm a PE teacher we're outside moving our bodies then I may add um, an electrolyte to one of the waters at least and I like relight not an affiliate just love this product um, this one is unflavored, so I can drink it while I'm fasting or not, but they do have great flavored ones as well. Um, so yes, if I know I'm going to be outside and be hot, I add the electrolyte to my water. So I pack my waters first, and then I pack a lunch. If I know that my lunch break is going to be, um, for the most part, uninterrupted as, as a teacher, I've, I'm always getting knocks at the door. I'm always putting away equipment, changing spaces. Uh, it's pretty hectic. But most of the time, I will make myself some sort of a green salad. So I have my bowl that I use every day, and of course, I wash it every night. I use grab-and-go um, organic spring mix that's pre-washed. I keep it easy, load it up. I throw in a handful of tomatoes if I have them. What is usually whatever produce I have around the the least amount of chopping uh, the better it makes me assemble it quicker but some nights I'm chopping quite a bit for dinner and I just chop a little extra for my lunch for the next day so I throw that in some sort of sprouts that I'm sprouting I try to include uh, broccoli sprouts especially those of you who know my story know that I'm gonna do whatever I can to um, prevent my cancer from coming back and I wrote this down because I always forget when on camera I get I get um, camera shy. But um, glucorophanin is the co chemical compound that when you that's in broccoli sprouts when you chew it it um, turns into sulforaphane, which is really strong in anti-cancer properties. It's an antioxidant that's really there's very exciting evidence that it can help suppress cancer or prevent it. You can read all about it on your own. Um, but anyway, I add some sort of sprouts. Usually it's broccoli sprouts. These I sprout on my own. Um, I think I have a YouTube video about sprouting and if I don't, I'll put one out so you guys can see what I do. It's really simple. So I add some sprouts 
I add some kind of olives. Right now I'm into the garlic stuffed olives because this is another way for me to get my garlic as well. I try to do two to three cloves of raw garlic every day and I'm finding an easy way. I have videos about that as well you can go look for, but I find an easy way to pop the garlic is just to pop an olive in the mouth. It's just, it doesn't seem so bad to chew raw garlic that way. Um, and I, I have a fork full of sauerkraut every day for my gut health. I don't eat more than that because I don't want to overwhelm my gut. It is super healthy. I get sauerkraut that's pre-made. It's, it's stored in glass because plastic is not so great for us. And then I just have a fork full. I haven't had mine today, so excuse me. So I have it. Mm. Well, I have it, but I would add a fork full every day. So there's my four full. In fact, it's just about gone, so I'm just gonna add the rest of it. So I do that to my salad every day. I've got my olives. Um, let's see what else. I usually add an avocado if I have it, some sort of healthy fat. Um, and then I sprinkle, uh, I love to have nutritional yeast for great B12. It gives it a great nutty taste. This is just about every day that I do this. Um, I add turmeric. And ground black pepper, that helps. They work together to be great anti-cancer uh, treats. And then, <laughs> treat. And then um, I love this pluck. Again, not not a, um, an affiliate, but I love this pluck seasoning. It's organ-based. It's ground organs, like beef liver and kidney and, and other things. Super healthy, but not all of us want to sit down and eat a kidney right so this is ground up in into a seasoning mix and i sprinkle this on so i get that nose to tail experience without literally eating nose to tail always and then um and then i always add some sort of sprouted um seeds on top so i bought this at costco sprouted organic mixed seeds with sea salt pumpkin sunflower and watermelon seeds hmm I love it but sometimes I sprout my own seeds um, so can sprout them and um, I always try to add those on top and then I cover it all up with something non-plastic so this is a glass bowl and then I found these silicone bowl covers and I cover it up stretches across pretty cool Ooh, the oven's hot dinner's cooking uh, and then there, there goes into the fridge, ready for me to just grab and put into, I'll show you what I store everything in. Um, I also, every day, try to eat some sort of, for lunch, some sort of omega-3 fatty wild fish. So um, I, I am going to have wild mackerel tomorrow. Sometimes I have sardines, anchovies, um, salmon, something like that every day. So what I'll do is just open up this can in here and dump um oh i forgot to show you how i the oil and vinegar that i use so let me show you that too but i use the olive oil that these are stored in drizzle it put the fillets in there delicious yum great brain healthy omega-3s get me through my the rest of my day get me through that afternoon slump um i also would add maybe a little bit more olive oil super healthy um really healthy uh, or really great source of olive oil and in bottled in glass is important and then um, for the oil or for the vinegar sometimes I use what's in the bottle this is organic garlic and it's bottled in organic vinegar and so sometimes I'll just pour the vinegar from the bottle of um, it's in glass so it's it's better to use sometimes I'll just use the vinegar from that from the olives or I'll use I love apple cider vinegar this is almost done so I'll just use this today use the rest of it dump that on and then with the olive oil and all the seasoning that I showed you it's super healthy rich in antioxidants healthy greens uh, delicious healthy tomatoes all those um, added seasonings that are so good and the anti-cancer properties of the broccoli sprouts and so forth. So that is what I put together for my lunch. If I if I know my day is going to be a busy one and I'm going to be on the run, I don't skip lunch because I fast through breakfast. Lunch is when I break my fast and I want to make sure that I get enough calories in the day. Some days I can go all the way to dinner and get in enough calories, but a lot of the days I really need to have that lunch 
to make sure that I'm nourishing my body properly. So if I know I'm on the run, I'll make a shake. Shakeology is my favorite, but there are lots of great shakes out there and I'll throw a lot of this stuff into the shake, the salad and the broccoli sprouts. Probably wouldn't do the seasonings and the seeds, but I make this shake and then that I can drink on the go and make sure that I have a lunch made. No matter what I make for lunch, I have it done the night before. So dinner's cooking, I've got my water, I've got my lunch. And then I pack it up. This is in this lovely little cooler set up here. Um, super attractive walking into the building. Hello. Um, but I have that all ready to go and it's, it's a cooler. So if I don't have access, like tomorrow we have meetings, I don't have access to my fridge at work. So I know that my stuff is all gonna be safe and cool in that cooler. I might throw in a little ice pack package thing to keep it extra cool, um, but there it is. And so I have that sitting right by my door. I pull in the morning, I pull out my um, salad and or my shake. I have my waters already packed in there. I, I shut the lid, put it on my shoulder and I'm off. It's that quick, that easy to eat healthy. You don't, you don't have to overthink it. Keep it as simple and healthy as you can. Prepare ahead of time. I am easy in that I can have much the same kind of thing day in and day out. If you're the person type of person who needs to alternate, get into a rhythm. Mondays I eat this, Tuesdays I eat this, Wednesday and so forth, or alternate days every other doing shake and a salad or sandwich or whatever, but preparing in advance is the key. All right, friends. So I'm really interested to hear what you do. I know that you probably have great ideas and tricks um, so comment below, like, share, um, ask me questions. I'll do my best to answer them. If I don't know the answer, I'll find it. Uh, check me out on fitbodies.com, two T's. Um, also soon to come is stephaniefit.com, two T's. Looking forward to hearing from you. Um, have a wonderful day. Peace out.